Gibbs, how are you? Thanks for coming out tonight, everybody. You're a sore sight, a sight for sore eyes, Denver. I just got back from the West Coast. I was doing jokes in Portland and Seattle. And the cool part about that, in addition to the shows, all of my dating profiles, they all went up with matches. 800% baby! Yeah, that's right. It was statistically frightening enough to do math. Like when Godzilla wrecks a building. Like, what the fuck is happening? Like. I didn't know what to do about it, so I had to rationalize. Like, why am I getting so many matches? Why am I in so much demand here in Portland? And I realized that it's because I'm outside of my normal dating pool. So while that sounds good on paper, did I just find out that statistically I'm not beautiful enough to live in Colorado? Fuck! <laughs> I came out here to tell jokes and found out that I was geographically ugly, man. <laughs> I lived here all my life. There was one girl and her only thing, no profile information, just one picture, was her with Steve-O from Jackass. Yeah, yeah. And a picture says a thousand words, but that picture only says 11 words, which are, after that picture was taken, that girl blew Steve up. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I'm trying to find unsolicited dating advice, right? Find it on the internet. You find all those articles. It's like 17 reasons to date a girl that only drinks beer. Weirdly specific, but relevant. Let's get into it. <laughs> Reason number one, she can hold your beer bong. Reason number two, you can hold her beer bong. Reason number three, a 30 rack is a date. Reason number four, you always got a beer pong partner. And it went on like that. <laughs> and it got to the number 17 reason why you should date a girl that only drinks beer. And that reason was because she can crush cans on her head. <laughs> What kind of maniac women are we seeking here, BuzzFeed? <laughs> the only thing that I have learned from this article is that apparently the perfect woman is Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, we're gonna go out purse shopping and that's the bottom line, cause girlfriend said so. But I went on a real date without the assistance of an internet. Yeah, boy! I did it. I did it. And she was getting ready. We were going to have dinner and drinks. I was in the living room playing with this dog. This dog had a toy it did not want to give up. But as a red-blooded American male, I'm going to fucking play with that dog. <laughs> So I pull that toy out of the dog's mouth and it wasn't a bone and it wasn't a squeaky ball. It was a rubber penis. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> Spencer's gift has done it again. This is a dog toy that looks like this. But then I, I saw the little twisty knob to turn it on. This is legit merchandise. <laughs> I gotta tell somebody. So I'm like, hey, your dog's biting up a dildo, question mark? I... <laughs> and without missing a beat, that girl leaned out of the bathroom, still putting on her mascara and was like, no, he got that off the bed, so that's his toy now. <laughs> and imagine, if you thought it was weird to take that out of a dog's mouth, imagine having the unfortunate distinction to be like, it's supposed to be in there? <laughs> and that dog didn't take it like a norm, like across the mouth, like a stick. That dog took it north to south like it was meant to be used. <laughs> Oh, 
You might be asking, Mitch, did you take a picture of this so you can show us after the show? I thought about it, but I didn't, because I know that if I took a picture of that with my phone, it would go up into my Google Cloud, and then Facebook would buy that picture, and then my targeted advertising would be fucked for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thank you very much, Comedy Works, and Mitch Jones.